What is up guys? Today I will be bringing you a short video on what is the most efficient way to complete the hand cannon frame. This is not for the powerful frame, this is just for the purposes of grinding out hand cannon rolls for the Kindled Orchid. And this is just going to be a quick video on what I have found to be by far the most efficient way to actually complete the frame and then get going on the forge so you can get your rolls pumped out as fast as possible. So the first thing you're going to want to do, obviously, is you're going to want to complete the powerful hand cannon frame on whatever character you plan to grind out the repeatable frames on. So for me, that would be my Warlock. And then after that, you're going to want to make sure you go ahead and get yourself six modulus reports. So I have six here, and then you're going to want to fly into the tower, and you're going to go talk to Ada 1. So we're already here just to, for the sake of saving time. You're going to talk to Ada, and she's going to have Come see what we are selling uh, your today, frame. Guardian. Pick up hand cannon frame for six modules sports, and then immediately you're going to want to go ahead, load up the map, go to Mars, you're loading into Glacial Drift, and this is where you're going to be doing, like, everything, all the way up until you're completed with the frame. And the good thing about this is you can actually get some pretty insane rolls, so for me, I don't have a perfect roll, um, I would like this to actually be a pended mag, and then this to be, like, hammer force rifling, otherwise this is, in my opinion, the best roll you can get on the Kindled Orchid. But you can also get stuff for PvP like this. I actually got this to drop yesterday. Has Hammer Forest Rifling, Accurized Rounds, Kill Clip, Rapid Hit, and a Range Masterwork. Fully Masterwork. This has 72 range stat. The Ace of Spades has 86. So you can actually get some pretty nasty rolls. Well, here you go. We're in uh, we're in Glacial Drift here. And the first thing you want to do... Oh, did I actually get... Okay, so this is actually... Well, let's see. If you get a populated instance like this, what you can do is you can just reload back into Glacial Drift, and then it'll give you, mo most of the time, it'll give you a, a different instance. Um, and uh, what we're trying to do, uh, okay, sweet, this will work. Yeah, there's two people. See, so what you want to do is you want to just get a couple kills before you actually go into the Lost Sector, which we're going to be doing the farming. You're going to get a total of 30 precision kills is what you're after. Where's this guy going? Here. Don't you dare. That's mine. Um, but yeah, so he's got three kills right there. And what we want to do is you want to go to the right and go up to the Lost Sector here, the Ma'adim Subterrain. And this is actually the Lost Sector that we use to farm for the right side of wrong. We have a video for that on the channel as well if you're curious about that. But you want to go down here. And basically all you're doing here is you're taking your time going through this Lost Sector, trying to get every single possible kill as a headshot. And then the next step after you get the 30 precision kills is to get... Um, the Radiant Seeds, and the boss actually will drop you 10 Radiant Seeds per kill. So we're just taking our time, landing headshots. Oops. We want to just get as many out of these kills as possible to be headshots. I'm actually shooting on the high side so I can't accidentally miss. What is this? Mr. Scion? See, that right there is why I actually don't like having extended mags and you don't actually get a headshot. It takes forever to load the gun. Oh, there you go. We're just making our way around here slowly. And then there's actually a trick. Once I actually kill all these guys, I'll show you what I do to actually skip the whole running through the entire loss section and make this really fast. And if you watch the other video that I put out, you'll know already what that trick is. Gladiators have a lot of health and are really annoying to kill tank guys. Should be at like 27 or so kills. I think somewhere on there. Those hitboxes on the Warbies are super weird. I don't like to actually be where their head is. For whatever reason. Hey, that's not very cash money of you, Mr. Kavasis. There you go. So there's the 30 precision kills. And what I like to do is just drop a rift right here because you don't need a well. And then I just take a sniper. It really doesn't matter what weapons you're using here, to be honest. I just happen to have a rapid hit triple tap Dread Adventure. Which is actually really good. That's what I use on the, um... On the Scourge of the Past boss, Insurrection Prime. But there you go. See, he drops 10 Radiant Seeds. You pick all these up. Was that heavy ammo or is that... I don't know, yeah, okay. And then you just jump down here. And then we're going to reset the Lost Sector. And there's a trick for resetting this Lost Sector. Normally, once you actually instance out and it says Glacial Drift again, 
it would reset on any other Lost Sector, but for some reason, this one is a little bit different. It's like right here, we're not actually resetting yet. You wanna go up here, past this light, there's a little ramp, and then the landing. Once you get up to this landing, so past this little line right here, the Lost Sector is reset. You run back down here. I am not using Well of Radiance. I just realized that. Okay, well, that's actually fine. We'll make do without it. I was actually farming some other stuff, but normally I'd be running into Tomb Grace for this. And then, if you're a hunter, you jump to this rock, but any other class, you just run, jump straight like this, go up to this ledge, clamber onto it, and then you just float right up here. I'm gonna drop a rift, toss a nade, and then it's gonna be kind of loading the boss down like this. Really, any heavy weapon will work. I'm using Lunafaction Boots for the auto reload. Then he just dies. Pick up the Radiant Seeds. And then we go straight back to 8 to 1. And there you go. That is the fastest way to complete the hand cannon frame. That can also be used for several other um, frames. So like the Pulse Rifle, for example. Um, you can just load up an EP and just murder the, all the Thrall. And get a whole bunch of Pulse Rifle multi-kills. Go kill the Lost Sector boss twice. Go back to Ada. But there you go. I'm not going to bore you guys with doing an actual companion forge because I already have a video on that if you're curious about what is an efficient way to complete that. But there you go. If you found this video helpful, feel free to share it around. If you like the video, feel free to drop a like on it. But I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.